Hello and welcome to the news in brief. In the headlines, please declare one Sadat Mohammed wanted in a Sampohini's killing investigations. Varied reactions to Senor Hossi's comments on graduates of the University of Ghana. Acting IGP gives assurance to unravel what happened to slain cops. And Dr. Indium urges staff not to be timid. My name is Enoch Dafa Frimpong. As part of investigations in the killing of the Asampoinin of Kumasi, the police has secured a warrant for the arrest of one Sadat Mohammed, also known as Al Haj. The 38 year old suspect has since been declared wanted. He is said to be one of the last persons the late chief interacted with on Sunday morning. At a press briefing in Kumasi today, the Deputy Ashanti Regional Police Commander, ACP Mr. David Ajiman Ejim, said the deceased was in the company of the suspect at his residence at Kwadaso on Sunday morning. The police has warned anyone harboring the suspect to release him since it was a criminal offence under the country's criminal act. Ohineba Kweju Afodua was stabbed multiple times last Sunday by his assailants and left to die at the backseat of his Toyota Land Cruiser V8 vehicle at a boom on the Ejira in Kranza Highway. Three persons have as of now been arrested. One of them has since been granted a police inquiry bail. There has been varied reactions to businessman Senor Hossi's comments on the management of the University of Ghana that describe them as incompetent. Addressing an event to mark the Premier University's 70th anniversary, the Chief Executive Officer of the Chamber of Bulk Oil Distributors had this to say. Respectfully, the old men running this school, there are too many, get them out. You guys are not doing anything that is relevant for the future. And you won't get people wanting to employ the people out of this place. Your MBA students, plenty of them I will hire. Your MBA, your classmates, I will hire. I was also in that school. Why? How many tears have you written people's thesis? Reacting to Mr. Hussey's comments, a former vice chancellor of the University of Ghana, Professor Ivan Adai Mensa, rejected the criticisms that graduates from the institution are ill-prepared for the job market. According to him, in spite of all the difficulties the University of Ghana is facing, its students are among the best in the world. He had some points, but they were not well presented. They were distorted, and I don't think enough thought went into it. He was accusing people that uh, they are not able to think, but I thought he, 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 had, he advertised worse ways of thinking than one would have expected. On his part, a faculty member of the University of Ghana, Professor Ransford Jampo, described Senor Hussey's comments as loose talk. The president and chairman of Group Indium, Dr. Papakwesi Indium, has asked his employees to remain calm and also be informed with the facts surrounding the decision of the Bank of Ghana to take over GN savings and loans. In a video message to the staff, Dr. Indium called on them to remember that their foundation is rooted in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 in the Bible. Let's take our inspiration from 2 Timothy. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. I want, you, want us to, to, to look at that today. That, that spirit that God gave us does not make us timid and should not, in this challenging time, make us timid. But it, it ought to give us power. And when I say power, power to take control over our emotions, over our attitude, and our outlook as far as work is concerned, as far as life is concerned. The Acting Inspector General of Police, Mr. James Opon Buenu, has directed specialized teams of investigators to support the regional commands to investigate the death of two police officers last Monday. The two police officers died at Manso Abodom in the Ashanti region and Achim Swedro in the Eastern region on Monday. 
Hundreds of African Americans and Africans in the diaspora on Tuesday joined the chiefs and people of Jamestown in Accra to mark the year of return. Dubbed Jamestown to Jamestown, the event symbolically marked exactly 400 years since the first slave landed on American soil on August 20, 1619. Chiefs and elders of Accra dressed in their full regalia with a large retinue of traditional priests, priestesses, and flag wielding Asafu groups welcomed their brothers and sisters from the diaspora with a display of rich traditional rituals, drumming and dancing. Making state-owned enterprises, joint venture companies and other state entities more viable for profitability will be one of the focuses of the newly created State Interest and Governance Authority, the Director General, Mr. Stephen Asamoabuatin, has said. According to him, the government was interested in seeing state-owned enterprises, joint venture companies and other state entities set up for commercial purposes flourish. Mr. Stephen Asamoabuatin said this on the second day of the 2019 Policy and Governance Forum in Accra. He explained that those entities could be made profitable by training their managers and staff for them to adhere to good corporate governance systems. So, if you've been entrusted to run a state entity which is commercially uh, set up, I'm afraid you've got to do that. That's where the performance contract system would, would be working. That's why there will be compliance uh, system in place in SIGA. That's why we would, we would compel you to, to train your staff. For more news, log on to graphic.com.gh and follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic Ghana and on Twitter and YouTube at GraphicGH. My name is Enoch Daffa Frimpong. Thanks for watching.